stand-up coat rack for a while now, which I obviously need one, but I haven't been able to find one that I like. I feel like a lot of them look pretty silly. But I found one at Urban Outfitters. It was like $150 and it was a little bit too wide for my space. So I thought in my head, I could make that and it would fit in my space perfectly. So here we are. I made this for $20. All it takes is a one by 10, some screws and a little bit of paint. This is another great project for beginners because it doesn't require a lot of tools and it's not a big investment of time or money. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell for more super trendy, budget friendly ways to decorate your home. You can also find me on Instagram at timberandt underscore for more behind the scenes. First thing I did was cut all of the pieces I needed. I cut everything I needed out of one 10 foot one by 10. The width of your horizontal pieces are gonna vary depending on the space you have. Mine were 13 and a half inches, but I had a fairly narrow space. So you could probably add about six inches to that. I cut my legs three and a half inches wide and 76 inches tall. And cut to five degrees on one end so the feet will sit flat on the floor. I used three quarter inch dowel and cut them at three and a half inches each. Then I marked out where I wanted my dowels or hooks to go. I arranged mine in a V shape. Then I used my drill press with a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit, same diameter as the dowel, and went all the way through the board. You could also use a spade bit in a regular drill or half inch dowel with half inch drill bit. Once my holes were done, I sanded everything down. I put some wood glue in the hole and on the dowel and made sure to clean up any excess glue. the glue was dry, I painted my backer. You could just stain it or paint it, but I wanted a little bit of both. I laid out my coat rack to be exactly how I wanted it, making sure the feet were square with the table and the rack and platform were flat. I just used wood scraps to get it leveled in. Then I pre-drilled all my holes to prevent the wood from splitting and then screwed everything in place. I used roofing screws because I thought they looked nice, but any old screw will do. 